What's up, guys? So today I have a brand new topic, um, something that I recently got into, um, my ups and downs. I have recently got into Funko NFT. Um, I didn't know a whole lot about it. I've watched some videos. Um, people who are doing it um, learned a lot from like um, Grown Kids TV and then the guy at Wasatch Pop. Um, he started doing them and I didn't really find anything that they were doing, Funko, not the guys on YouTube, but Funko that I had to have. Like, they didn't do anything that, like, I just absolutely had to be a part of. And not that long ago, I'm surfing internet and I see Jay and Silent Bob. And I lost my mind. So, right away, I start looking into uh, what you have to do to do this nft stuff i don't know anything about it i'm going in as green as they come i don't know the first thing and luckily i'm going to tell people right now if this is something that you want to do down the road if you ever foresee yourself doing it start the process right now start today start your atomic hub account your drop account, your wax wallet, um, because I am telling you, it for me personally, uh, I don't know anybody else, it did not happen overnight. My experience with Funko NFT, um, I had about given up. I had hit a breaking point where I was so frustrated and mentally exhausted with it, I just wanted to give up. Um, I was trying to do the wax wallet, and in order to do the wax wallet, you have to be able to send five wax. And I couldn't do that because I couldn't get the wax wallet set up. So I end up having to go to a third party website um, where I can buy wax. And it'll go into this website, um, but not for 14 days. And when I kind of looked at it, um, it wasn't going to hit my wallet within the 14 days that the NFT stuff dropped. So I wasn't gonna have the wallet set up and I'm freaking out. I'm so upset and so frustrated and just disheartened. Like this is all I wanted was the Kevin Smith. And I have this one. This is the Amazon Kevin Smith. It is hand signed by Kevin Smith. Um, and I have the reboot Silent Bob, uh, which is hand signed by Kevin Smith. Um, when I was first out on my own, the first got my first place, uh, one of the posters that I first bought, the first thing I think I pretty much put in my apartment that made it mine uh, was the clerk's uh, theatrical movie poster. And uh, I still have it today. Um, I've traveled with it. It has followed me everywhere. Um, I Shortly after that one, bought a mall rats one. I am born in Minnesota, so the fact that they shot mall rats not very far from where i was born um that was cool i've literally been to the mall i haven't been back for a while but so it's just a huge kevin smith so when i seen that they were doing the nft for this i'm like i have to do this this is the one that spoke to me i looked at like the kellogg stuff really didn't care my little pony didn't care um hannah barbera um, i grew up with that um when i seen the nfts that they did it really didn't um had they done a rosie from the jetsons I would have done that but you know for the most part i didn't have to have anything so when i seen the jay and silent bob i have to have this have to do it so i start the process and like i said it was it was extremely difficult for me personally um people might have done this super simple um i may have over over complicated or um put a lot more thought into setting it up than I needed to, but it, it took me a while. And like I said, I had hit a point where I was, I was very ready to just throw in the towel and be done with it. Um, but finally I get everything set up. Everything is set up. I, I get the account finally working. I have to go to uh, a, a different website and I don't end up doing it with wax. I find a way where I can buy 
Bitcoin online and I can set up the account with Bitcoin instead of wax because the wax place that I was trying to get it from said it was 14 days. I wasn't going to make it in time for the drop. I was like freaking out. So I ended up getting it all set up and everything is okay. And I've calmed myself and uh, the drop happens. And that Tuesday where it drops, uh, I have planned a vacation to go. So I see that it drops. They release the time and I'm like, oh my God, we're supposed to be on the road and up and gone. And I basically told my wife, I said, here's the deal. I said, please just let me do this. <laughs> I should be an hour behind, maybe a little more than where I want to be. And I get up and I'm just counting the minutes, counting the minutes, counting the minutes. About a half an hour before um, it starts or they become live on the website, I come into my computer room and I sit down and I kind of log in and I have everything ready to go. I leave the room because I'm driving myself crazy. And I come back in probably 10 minutes before and I see that there's an open queue where you can jump in a queue and I freak out. I assume at this point, uh, the first people in the queue are the first people to buy. I would assume it would be like Black Friday at Target. The first guy in line is the first guy through the door. Um, I don't know at what point between the half an hour before the drop and where I wander into my computer room and see that there is a way to jump in this queue. I, I don't know how long it's been. I have no idea. Funko doesn't say, hey, the queue starts 30 minutes before the drop. There, there's nothing. So I'm panicking. And finally, it hits the time in my local time where you can get in. And it shows you're in queue 44 minutes. <laughs> and I start to see it, it real time updates. Uh, the packs are just and the clock 44 minutes doesn't move. At some point it goes up and I'm like, oh my God, seriously, this is all I've wanted out of the NFT. I've never participated, never gotten in the line, never done this. Um, and all of a sudden it sells out. And I'm just heartbroken. It's super frustrating. So I start realizing that a lot of people talk about the secondhand market. And I go over to the secondhand market. And people who know this, the packs are for the standard are $10. And then the premium are $30. And they're standard on the aftermarket or the, the secondary market they've the standard pack that was 10 is now 30 and the premium that was 30 is now 70 and i don't know what to do i'm sitting here frustrated and finally i just say i'm going to buy a bunch of wax and i'm going to buy some stuff on the secondary market i go to buy the wax and my debit card declines. <laughs> it's not that I don't have the money. It is simply that where you buy the wax from, I want to say it's like in Ireland. And the fact that I'm trying to buy $600 to $800 worth of wax is triggering the fraud department on my credit card or debit card, whatever. And it won't let me buy the wax. So I'm, I'm in the Atomic Hub and I'm looking at the packs and they drop down to 40 I'm on the phone and I'm freaking out on my bank. And uh, in one of the videos, like it, it, I was on the phone with the bank and, and, and I'm recording on the screen as I'm on the phone with the bank and <laughs> it's in the background and I'm going to try to edit it out. So if in the further of this video, you understand that there's clicking where I'm not clicking and you hear it, it's just that I've edited the, the sound to try to make it because uh, I'm freaking out on the phone with the bank and uh, I'm not uh, family friendly. So I end up finally telling them that it's not fraud, man. Here's the thing, you guys. I'm, I'm trying to do this, and the packs start dipping down. And they get down. Uh, the premium that were 30 online are now 40. Um, I realize that you have to wait for the wax. It's not automatic. <laughs> so there's a, a delay in when you purchase the wax to where it hits your account. And I'm freaking out. The packs that are $40, they're just gone, gone, gone. And the packs start going back up. And they're getting increasingly more expensive. And I'm like, ugh. So I end up buying 
some packs on the secondary market and I pay sixty dollars. Um, I don't remember exactly um, how many I bought. Um, this shows four standard and three premium. I end up buying more after that. I buy a couple. I have extra wax and I don't really know about buying or selling and this this thing where I make an offer to a guy and when you offer somebody if they don't accept it or they don't whatever it takes the wax out of your wallet but if they don't accept it it goes into like this place where you have to go retrieve it it, it doesn't automatically come back to your wallet so I make an offer to a guy I really want the J with no pants this is something that I, I, I have to have so I make an offer to the guy, and I think I offered him 120 at the time, which is funny now because at the time of recording this, uh, what is it? It's the second today. At uh, the time that I actually get around to recording this, um, I think they've dropped down but below 60 bucks. So I'm like, I jump them, I, f I freak out, and I just buy it, and I realize that like now I've paid double what it's worth. I did the same thing with the bob and the gas mask. Um, I had to have that. Uh, and I think I paid a little over 200, 220 for that. And I think that that at one point it dipped down to like 130. And I'm like, <laughs> but it's learning. Everything that I'm doing right now, it's it's learning, and uh, it's extremely unfortunate because in the Funko NFT world right now, I have learned that the lessons you're going to learn are going to end up costing you a lot of money. I have probably wasted three to four hundred dollars. Um, just figuring this stuff out. It's not a poor man's game. It is a very expensive process and it is not as easy as I thought it was. Um, so with that being said, hopefully you guys uh, can kind of learn from um, my mistakes. If you have any questions about this, um, I know Mike from Grown Kids TV. Uh, he's a great person. I don't know him personally, but I've reached out to him. I started collecting um, multiple sets. And at some point, I'm like, can you even on Redemption Day get multiple completed sets? And uh, Mike had responded back to me and he said, yeah, you can. Um, you'll get a, a, a Redemption coin for every completed set you have. So I'm like, here I am completing sets. And I think I have two or three of them. And I don't even know for certain that I can redeem them. So I'm buying the cards to try to complete these sets, and I don't even know that I can turn them in and get multiples. So at the end of everything, I had spent quite a bit of money, and I think I have three completed sets, three of the J, and then one of the Bob, um, which at the end of the day, when I kind of walked into this, I just wanted one complete set. I wanted one J, one Bob, and one Freddy as the movie employee. So um, we'll get into the pack opening here. And like I said, I don't know a whole lot. But if you have any questions, like my failure, let it help you. Um, I check this quite frequently. So uh, let's get into the pack opening. Y'all have a great day.
Yes. Please enter your ATM pin one digit at a time. Your checking account has an available balance of You are eligible for our voice verification service, which uses the sound of your voice. Representative. Okay, I can remind you about enrolling in voice verification next time you call. No. I'll remind you. Let's go on. Main menu. Which of these would you like? Account activity. Account balance. Transfer funds. Or other services. You can also say switch accounts. To uh, use touch tone only, press star 7 at any time. Other services. Oh my god. Please. Sounds like you're calling about a call. Alright, so I got another premium pack here. Um, I've been watching people open, and um, I wanted to try if I bought one pack selling and seeing how far I could go. Um, I've been watching some people on YouTube who will buy a pack and they'll pull something and they'll turn around and sell that and try to keep going. So I had some extra wax in my wallet. So I'm going to try. Let's see what we do. We're going to go ahead and open this. I'm trying to sell some stuff. I should have enough to get one more here. Oh, great. I got a coin. I just bought one, so that's kind of funny. An epic blunt man. An uncommon. Common chronic. Common iron bob. Common silent bob. Uncommon Mooby, Common J. Common Freddy Funko. Another epic. Uncommon. A rare blunt man. Uncommon J. Another epic. Uncommon J. And an epic. Holy. This is at four epics in one pack. Blunt man. Blunt man. Blunt man. And the coin. So with all that being done, um, I invested quite a bit in it. Um, I don't know what the market will do. I don't know when they drop and they start releasing what they'll be valued at. But for me, um, I'm happy with it. Uh, I went in assuming I would spend such an amount of money. Um, I spent more than I really intended to or, or thought I would. But like I said, at the end of the day, um, I ended up with three completed sets. So I'll get three of the redeemables for um, the Freddy Funko as the movie's employee. I have three redeemables, the legendary with the J with no pants. Um, and I have one of the Silent Bob with the gas mask. So I'm happy with that. Um, I will keep one completed set for myself. Um, and I don't know what I'll do with the rest of it. I very well could hang on to it. Um, I'm a huge Kevin Smith fan. So, um, again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, this has been an adventure. Um, in, in the process of kind of doing this, I realized that they dropped the Avatar stuff. I don't know if I'll do that. Uh, I don't really care about it. It's not anything personal to me. Um, I don't ever want to be a person who 
buys and resells simply for profit. Um, I know there's a lot of resellers and people who buy collections and resell, and, and then that's a business. Um, this, to me, is, is, is like... I could see trying to get into the queue and buying a couple packs and trading that for something that I want, but simply trying to get into the queue and, and buy packs solely for the purpose of doubling my money is just... Uh, I'd hate to take something away from somebody who really wants it solely f for profitable and, and i get that's the world right now and that's what people are doing and and to me it's just kind of a uncool thing for people to be doing um if you want to open it or you're into the funko nft and you really are, are doing it in order to trade and get some things that you want i'm all for that uh, but these people that i see that are solely buying packs uh, for ten dollars on the standard and thirty for the premium, o only to turn around and to sell them to double up their money. I mean, I get it. I get you doubling your money, and and, and kudos to you. But um, there are people that do this. You've got kids that are involved in this, and you're taking something away from somebody who really does care about having the collectible. Um, if you look at my background, I collect, man. I'm a huge collector. Um, I'm not here to get rich off doing this this isn't a job for me and um it just really it's kind of crappy that people do that and there's a little kid somewhere who's trying to get this and isn't going to get it because somebody simply wants to double up their money there's there's a million ways in the world to go make a couple of bucks and i guess it's unfortunate that this hobby has kind of taken over like that and it, it's 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 what it is but for me dude i love it um I like the NFT. I don't know I'll do the Avatar, but I look forward to them um, dropping some other stuff in the future that I'm really into. Um, I know, like, I mentioned Growing Kids TV. They do the Hot Wheels and stuff like that, and I, I don't... That doesn't really appeal to me. I, I like the Funko, and, and man, I, I hope um, down the road uh, they, they release some more stuff that I enjoy. Uh, I don't collect everything. My... My primary up here is Joker. Um, I watched Beavis and Butthead as a kid. Uh, we have the Harley Quinn stuff for my wife. Um, Mandalorian. Um, the Misfits. That's uh, the Misfits one. That's that's one of my favorite. It was a birthday present from all my friends last year. Um, so I collect what I'm into, man. I'm not I'm not gonna buy stuff that I don't really care about. So uh, with that being said, man, again, I appreciate everybody. Uh, tuning in and like if you have any questions i mean if if you're struggling um mike from grown kids tv he responded back pretty quick um and anything i can help you with man feel free to reach out to me um i'm always here to help and and i'm still learning so I, i'm not trying to be like i know it all but if if my experience and my frustration um can go on to help somebody else man i'm i'm, I'm here to help people uh i appreciate it have a great day guys bye so what are five things you don't like? You guys not subscribing, liking, and commenting. Not subscribing, not liking.